Imagine stepping into a theater over a century ago, the air buzzing with anticipation for a spectacle known as the minstrel show. But this was no ordinary performance. It was a sinister mirror reflecting deep-seated racism, a tradition where performers, predominantly white, painted their faces black to mock, mimic, and denigrate African Americans. This practice, known as blackface, left an indelible stain on the fabric of American culture, its repercussions echoing into the present day. Minstrel shows emerged in the early 19th century, drawing audiences with their caricatures of black life. These performances were steeped in stereotypes, portraying African Americans as dim-witted, lazy, buffoonish, hypersexual, or cowardly. The characters, such as Jim Crow, an archetype of a clumsy, feeble-minded black slave, and Zip Coon, a free black man depicted as overly pompous and ludicrously attempting to assimilate into white society, you were played for laughs at the expense of a brutally oppressed demographic. The popularity of minstrel shows soared across the United States, becoming America's first form of mass entertainment. By the 1840s, they were the defining American art form, a dubious honor at best. This entertainment craze wasn't confined to the South. It captivated audiences in the North as well, embedding the caricatures deep into American culture. Even after slavery was abolished, these derogatory images persisted, shaping the perceptions of African Americans in society and popular culture. The impact of blackface minstrelsy cannot be overstated. It served to dehumanize African Americans, portraying them as inferior and other, reinforcing the justifications for slavery and segregation. The stereotypes perpetuated by minstrel shows were not harmless fun. They were malicious, deeply racist portrayals that contributed to a culture of racism and discrimination that African Americans continue to fight against. However, the history of blackface is not only a story of oppression, it is also a story of resilience and resistance. African American performers eventually took to the minstrel stage, using the platform to subvert stereotypes and speak to the realities of their lives. Though still constrained by the racist framework of the minstrel show, these black performers were pioneers, laying the groundwork for future generations of African American entertainers. It's crucial to confront the legacy of blackface and minstrel shows to understand how deeply racism is woven into the fabric of American culture. This legacy is seen in the continued use of blackface by public figures and in media, each incident igniting controversy and reopening old wounds. The persistence of these derogatory depictions highlights the ongoing struggle against racism and the importance of education and awareness. As we reflect on this dark chapter of American entertainment history, we are called to question how far we have truly come and to recognize the enduring strength of those who have fought against oppression. The history of blackface minstrelsy is a stark reminder of the power of stereotypes and the long shadow they cast over society. Only by fully acknowledging and learning from this history can we hope to move forward into a future where all Americans are treated with the dignity and respect they deserve. The story of blackface and minstrel shows is not just an uncomfortable relic of the past, it's a call to action. It beckons us to confront the racism of the past and present and to commit ourselves to building a more just and equitable society. Let this be a lesson in the power of our collective actions and the stories we choose to tell because through understanding and empathy, we pave the way for a brighter, more inclusive future.